<laughs> Uncle's first, huh? Hi. Oh, she's smiling? I thought she was crying. What? <laughs> he does that to all the women. It's <laughs> 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 the Kemper curse. Uh, Isn't she cute? <laughs> 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 I got it on tape. I got it on tape. Quite a life. So far. I got Trish and I were here, little kids there. I got Blessed Jenny. Yeah, I saw. Isn't that something? Some of those pictures are so old. Some are almost 50 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a whole thing. Huh? Holy mackerel, look at that. There, just a baby diaper. That's when I got out of service. I knew that they always changed your diaper for you. I get the hair out as long as, about as, long as I ever had my hair. <laughs> yeah, they are in there. Oh, some of these pictures. Hey, son. You used to be skinny just like me. Hey! 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 Hold hand. Right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for Alan's 50th birthday, Lord. We just ask you to be with him, guide him, lead him, and just continue to be in his life, Lord. Thank you for blessing the many people here. We thank you for the love, Lord. Bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 She does have some similarities with Noah. Oh, yeah. Hey folks, we want to apologize. I just checked my driver's license. There's a mistake. I'm only 49 this year. <laughs> Can you come back next year? <laughs> All right, that means I'm 42. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> the line is going. I think we should make a dinner for somebody. Going, going, going. Right now, I'm going to get in line. Yeah. I never got married. Oh, I know. I better have a black boy. Oh, I have to. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> on the little one. I did. Uh, I, my life is turning around. Really? Yeah. It's been, uh, that's, a good, uh, that's a good example of your kids. Six months now, yeah. No. Really? <laughs> Trish. Trish. He called over there and pulled himself away. I know. He's showing her up. Look how he's sitting on 
one leg there. there. <laughs> okay, now you try that, honey. <laughs> yeah, that was your That's pretty good. Jerry, how did you do this? How did you enjoy it? Blake. Blake. Look over here. That's a new yoga position. Blake. Blake, come here. But I want you to be dirty. Not dirty. See? Oh. Oh. I don't think I've been around these many years. Can you do patty cake? Do patty cake. Patty cake, patty cake. There we go. Patty cake, patty cake. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you like Cory, don't you? You like Cory. Uh, 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 yes. Go ahead, we'll have one more. I know. I know. Okay, I asked somebody once. You got to be on the house. Hi. No, I don't even know. I'm not going to have a person who makes it. It's our former neighbors. Oh, just. Unfortunately, our, our greatest strength is communication. You're great, buddy. The opposite of your greatest strength is the <laughs> that was good. He can remember all those details. <laughs> 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 Nine pounds, but anyway, we got him home, and uh, it was quite a deal. I got to change one of the first diapers. That was amazing. <laughs> 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 and I made it through that, all right. But anyway, why? Uh, we got up in there. Hey, back there. That's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, why? We got up there, and as he grew up, boy. He stayed with his grandparents for a while, they, he went back and forth with them. And then uh, he always liked to look at the chandelier, they had a big chandelier in the, in the middle of the room. He loved to watch that chandelier. After that, why, as he grew up, why, we got to five years old, I went and got a quarter minute before he was And I thought, well, you'd be a nut to get a quarter minute. I've been in races a little bit here, so I thought I wasn't great. So I got it, got him in a quarter minute. First time I put him on the track, I neglected 
fix the problem. That's <laughs> 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 what I need to do with floorboards. Uh, the thing goes right behind it, my dial up over to Christ bar, and I killed myself, I got the switch off. So for the next week or so, we didn't have a quarter mission because you wouldn't drive. Kill me. But anyway, I got it working again, and uh, what was comical, I had a sponsor with a baby diaper service, pink and blue. And his number is 52, the year he was born. He didn't like that too well, but baby diaper service. I wore pink and blue before it was in vogue. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we went on a track, got him going again, worked him up, and the people that we raced with, we spent every side at the racetrack, going back and forth. Uh, I think I learned, learned a lot of good lessons there on the sportsmanship and stuff. That's funny. Sportsmanship. You got the wrong son of here. <laughs> anyway, I thought it would be good. He learned to drive good. Uh, he'd take the midget home if he wasn't the right to get home. Oh, don't call him a midget. <laughs> <laughs> we take him home to the midget. But if he wasn't the right, we just hauled him home until he got over that. Oh, yeah. But he won a few championships, and we raced for about three years. And then uh, after that, why, <clears throat> we continued on our life. Uh, we didn't have no many problems when we growing up. But we did, uh, used to get a babysitter. She's an older lady. <laughs> I was working and watch the kids. I mean, Gary, and uh, we went out one night and to come home and he would swing on the chandelier in here. We had a beautiful chandelier in him down here, and he was having a regular party. He was swinging that chandelier, so they got their tails standing up. He brought me up to it. Yeah, he said, Let's hear that. But anyway, then after that, why? Like, got the tails. As he came up through life, why, uh, he. Uh, Wait a minute, you missed the part about spanking. No, it's my son. You said you got your tail back. That's coming again when you get 16 years old. And it takes a lot of people to life. Mama Akuma. Uh, we sent him back to his grandparents on the farm in, in Ohio. He, uh, before that, when he was growing up, he traveled with his grandparents a lot. So uh, he never liked to set the table. He liked to set the counter. So Dad said this one time, they set him at the counter, and they ate, and the matron was going to get to see that little fellow sitting at the counter, so he gave him the bill. So she told him the bill, and he looked at I can't pay this, I haven't got any money. <laughs> so that was one of the I was like, yeah. my parents. And then uh, as, as he progressed up, uh, we sent him back to grandparents for a while. And, uh, Is that because you couldn't afford to feed him? I couldn't afford to feed him. I was on the farm, I was back on the vacation there. My Lois and I joined the church, and uh, we became Christians. And uh, in fact, the whole Colossus only became Christians. And he came back. He looked around and he said, man, there must be a cloud over this place. Everybody joined the church and everything. And then as we continued on through the lines and up there, he uh, got them to drive in well and then decided he'd, he'd like, well, in class, why he'd like to play the class clown. I spent a few time in the principal's office and uh, he'd like to hide the book that the guy kept scores in. In school, and you can see it up in the light right above you, right? Everybody's laughing there, it was. Yeah. <laughs> then we got, we got through that, all right. Then he decided, you know, he, sorry, he joined Marines. I told him I was in the Army, I said, You're in the Marines. I said, uh, You know, I was in the Army, I said, It's going to be a lot harder on you. Oh, no, no, it won't be. No, no. So he joined the Marines, and then they had a beautiful letter one day. Well, I wish I could frame it. So you were right. This is rough down here. Yeah. Then one afternoon he's out walking, and the captain comes by and he says, Camper, he says, uh, you took a test yesterday, you didn't pass. So he looked across the bay. See all those guys lifting logs over there? Yeah, I see it. He says, you're taking a test again tomorrow. You don't pass, you go over lifting logs. That's the reason.
I know. That's weird. Hey, hey this is a church. This is a church. Oh, church. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my, uh, at one time, I wrote it a few times. At one time, it was a real bad accident down the 35th to 110th, and I was down with him. The other person who passed on, that killed me accident, and I turned in my soul. You know what? This, for a while back there, I thought you might be one of those fellas. You realize how well you turned out. Oh, thank the Lord, he turned out well. And yeah. Honey's doing a fine son and great property. Oh, yeah. Probably Gary has known a little longer than Mom. Mm. So, Gary, you have a few choice things to say about your brother. <laughs> oh, no! Should we see his church? Now. <laughs> and a statute of limitations expired many years ago. <laughs> uh, okay. He's choking me. <laughs> you mean you're all choked up. <laughs> you know, just quickly, three things come to my mind. One is, uh, when we were younger, he he, uh, he would always pick on me and Don. When Bill came around, he'd pick on me. <coughs> and I remember sometimes when he, you know, he'd, we'd horse play and rough house. And remember that one time he actually pushed me through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and, and mom and dad were gone, and then we moved this entire chair over to cover the wall. <laughs> Why we, we we never figured out you know we moved your furniture. <laughs> but there were days like that where he would end up doing something and I would end up crying and he would actually be running around the yard because he knew dad. <laughs> um, the other thing that I was thinking about is um, you know throughout my life um, you know I had a toy a couple toys that I remember. The reason why these are memorable moments is I would save, it was this little rocket that you would buy at Pay and Save, and you'd put water in it, put water in the rocket, then you'd put it on a little stand and you'd pump it full of water, and then you would pull this thing back and it would fly up maybe a hundred or so feet. I had just bought it, and I was ready to use it, now goes, I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll pay you for it. <laughs> he used my yeah, he used my rocket and he lost it. <laughs> oh no. Then about, I don't know, ten years later, I uh, I ended up buying one of these gas-powered airplanes that you cannot break. So when it crashes on the ground, it's rubber banded together. And uh, then you rubber band it together and it flies fine. I pull out of the box, I'm all excited to fly it. And what does he say? I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> and and Alan always had a way of not asking, just kind of, I'll show you how to do it. And remember when it hits the ground now, it's supposed to just break apart and rubber band it back together. Well, it hit the ground and it broke. <laughs>
know, when mom and dad came to Christ, it really, really did a lot of things, not only for them, but it affected the family as well. And uh, you folks, you guys used to talk to us about the Lord, and we just thought, oh, whatever. <laughs> and, then, and then he would write us while he was in, in the Marines, and uh, I, I remember my, my mom, Charlene, you know, mom, about, you know, what the Lord was doing in your life while you were a serviceman. And um, we just thought, well, you know, you want to hear about the blood and guts and the gore. And what, 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 what's all this religious stuff? I can still hear my mom say, why doesn't he really tell us how he's doing? We're all saying, yeah, why doesn't he tell us how he's really doing? And then, and then he would come home off leave and we would spend some time together. And then he would actually, uh, you know, leave the service. And he would share the Lord with me. And, um, planting seeds in my life. And then I would go into the service, and it's like all of a sudden, well, it's not all of a sudden, it's the Lord, but it's like the light went on. And um, I, uh, I remember writing my mom and saying, I think I get it. You know, when I was writing home, telling you about what was really exciting and what was going on in his life, he was sharing with you what was going on. He was, he was in love with the Lord. And he was telling you, Mom, about the most important person uh, in his life. So I appreciate, um, I appreciate uh, your love for God all, all these years. And I know you've had some ups and some downs, but God has been so good so, uh, to you and your life. Okay? I love you. You are not done. <laughs> Only 50 more to go. <laughs> I'll pay 20 bucks a person to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not paying. Don't pay them for it. They got stuff for me. <laughs> They're arguing on who gets to go first. <laughs> 100, 100. Okay, then we have Mommy Alan, wonderful mother, who's coming up to say some wonderful things about her son. I wish I had to
He made me afraid to walk down our hall. He would jump out laughing, just having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your money when we played Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> he, ne he never took me to the park or to the roller rink, but he taught me all the songs by Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> 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 Engelbert! <laughs> he started dating. Always soaked in Jade East. This wasn't my brother, this was some sort of beast. <laughs> he dated all kinds, it was hit or miss, until finally he found his true love, the one I would call Sis. Their, their song was Moon River, and they went soon. I was so excited, I would get my own bedroom. <laughs> They moved to San Diego so far away, Trish gave birth to a son while Alan was at bay. Two girls would soon follow, making it three. My big brother was a father, it was hard to believe. He graduated from the police academy, I was so proud, until he busted my party. It really wasn't that loud. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many memories that are running through my head, but it's getting late and I need to go to bed. To sum it all up, all I want to say is we may have a different birth mother, but deep in my heart, you are my true big brother. Have a good day.
the time. <laughs> Fighting like cats and dogs. Um, we would fight over ice cream. <laughs> yeah, who would get the biggest bowl of ice cream? And the dishes, the housework. Um, it was just hard, you know. But I was I loved having a big brother there, but it was just hard for me. So I made this little for me.
here. She um, happened to get married on her father's birthday, and so she's on her way to Hawaii as we speak. But the baby's here, and that would be Melissa. Uh -oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> It was anything to do with any games. Uh, twerk gun fighting, wrestling, hide and go seek in the dark, whatever it was, somebody was crying. <laughs> Always <laughs> crying. Okay. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> I will never forget. Okay. So I'll just tell you a couple stories really quick. These are the ones that I always tell. Um, my dad was very strict. Uh, he, was, he was strict when he was around. So there was a time he had just discussed with us a week prior about not playing with matches or lighters. He was very serious about this issue. And here I am. I was I was the youngest, and my brother and sister haunted me my whole life. I didn't want to always got blamed for things. And somehow they actually convinced both these people, with my parents, that it was really me that did all this stuff. So I always got screwed. I mean, I always oh yeah, plus grandma. I, I always got the brunt of everything. And so one day. Some dumb kid lights a match and sets it on the bathroom that was Jenny. toilet. <laughs> and my brother happens to go in the bathroom and see the match. And of course, being the sneaky brother he is, he knew he didn't light it. So he wanted to go make sure he told my dad somebody lit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't come down on me. So he said, Dad, look, look, look what I found. I found a match in the bathroom, Dad. Then Jenny and Melissa did this. <laughs> so my dad just got angry. Oh, was he angry. And he sets us down. and. I was already afraid of my dad because I was the most punished child. <laughs> so I was already afraid of the belt. I didn't want to get it. I would avoid the belt like the plague. Okay, I would do anything to not get spanked. And so when my dad said to us, I'm going to start spanking you both until one of you admit to lift this match. And I figured I didn't want to admit it because I really, I honestly, I did not like that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, was I was innocent. Okay. So you know, I love this day. my great-grandparents' house, and I was the youngest, and 
he didn't want to cancel me out right away, so we did a game and, and I won. I, I was one of the ones that got to go. Me, my sister, and my dad. My brother was mad. Boy, was he mad. <laughs> okay? So we all get our bikes. My, the three of us get the bikes. We only have three bikes, so that's why I wanted to go. And we, we started going down, and I thought I didn't know this trip. You know? So we get to the first really big hill, and this was a really big hill, and I was young. And so I got scared. So I got off my bike, and I started running down the hill. And my dad got mad. He's like, Melissa, you get on that bike, and you ride that bike down the hill, or you're not going. That's I wanted right. to go so bad. I wanted to go so bad. So I just thought, okay, I'll do it, Dad. And I, I was so scared. I knew I couldn't ride down that hill. I was, I was doing getting on that bike. Okay? So I get on the bike, and within like five seconds, uh, I'm, I'm going down the hill, and I start my bike shake out of control, and I just flipped, and my face just smacked into the concrete. I mean, it was just the worst accident. Ever. No, it was, it was just concrete. No, it was a smack. I made the worst accident. So, so my dad picks me up, and I was just crying. I'm like, see, Dad, I told you I could have my bike. You know, and I was just, I couldn't, so he had to carry, they had to get the way, had to run up and get my mom and drive down and carry me all the way up there. I looked like the elephant man for a week after that. My whole family teased me for a week straight about how I looked like the elephant man, and it was terrible, but anyways. Um, I say we pants them right now. <laughs> get a rope, get a rope. When I was little, I didn't have a lot of friends all the time, and I remember coming home from school and being upset because I was teased a lot, and for some reason I didn't make good friends. And I don't know, my dad always played with me. He did stuff with me all the time. I, I went to all of his all of his sports, and I just I just when I look back at my life being a child, I don't really remember making out with a lot of friends all the time. I remember because you walked with a limp with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, my dad has always been my, my best friend. I, I've always loved him, and I know you know getting off on in the teen years and doing the dating thing and stuff, even though it kind of separated uh, our relationship a little bit, but. When everything hasn't worked out in my life, my dad's always been the one that's been there for me. He's been the main man in my life, been at the birth of all my children, and without him, I, I, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't be here today, and I just want to thank you so much, Dad. Very competitive, as I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little perverted enough, which you have to be to be a good salesperson. Um, always clothing. Um, great disciplinarian. Little mean, which you have to be to be a good salesperson. <laughs> and uh, I know you're getting old. I know 50 is tough on you. I hope you're not going to retire because Alan is also one of my best recruiters. Right? He's recruited his whole family. <laughs> <laughs> in my office. Dina's been in my office. She's in my office. Ellen might be coming. Um, Jenny's in my office. And uh, one time, Jen was. And Jen, yeah. And you know what? Look out because I'll probably be interviewing one or all of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Also, you know, to make it a little bit lighter and to show you what a good salesperson Alan really is, I heard a story a couple weeks ago that just absolutely convinced me this is probably one of the best salesmen around. Okay? Uh, Dina came into my office after hours. She was working late. I was working late. She says, did you hear? I said, what? Did you hear that Trish lost her cat? Tiger. Tiger? Tiger. Tiger. Tiger or Tiger? Tiger. Tiger. Help me off. I tell her. I said, no, I didn't. I said, oh my God, she must be hysterical. Yeah, it just got out. I don't know. I think you let it out. Was it your fault? Yes. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry to mean to bring that up again. Anyway, so uh, the cat got out. And I said, oh, that's really bad. But she says, no, no, wait a minute. That's not what I want to tell you. Did you hear that Alan found the cat or thought he did? I said, well, what do you mean? Well, Alan was driving home, apparently, and he saw two cats fighting and could have sworn that one of them was Tigger. So he jumps out of his car, grabs this poor cat, throws him in the car, takes him home, and tries to pawn off his cat as Tigger, and it was not Tigger. And the guys, and Trish, and Trish is saying, that's not my cat, and Alan, he is he's in there going, yeah, that's your cat, that's Tigger.
was pretty interesting to watch because then Jenny Bunkman said, is it right to pray that my dad and so I'm worried my mom's going to come too and they're both going to maybe come to the church. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, I don't think I can pray that way. <laughs> I said, well, what if, what if the Lord wants to come here? She goes, I knew you were going to say that. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> And I got to, to know and love Alan. We've done a lot of things together. We've gone to Africa together. And Trish wanted to let everybody know that he was the one that wimped out first and got sick. <laughs> the whole, whole two weeks we were gone. She was the trooper. And we had to make quite a few stops on the first uh, yes. tour of the book. <laughs> he was the biggest and the, you know, the bravest. And we, we got to stop a number of times on the way out there for him. He had a hard time. But I really appreciated Alan and Trish's friends. And, what the Lord's done in their life. They've been really wonderful friends to us. We've done some things together, and um, I just say I really appreciate your friendship and what God's. It sounds like He's done a lot in your life over the last yes. couple of years in particular. And I'm, I'm real proud of you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be your friend. I don't have any bad stories yet. But... <laughs> <laughs> no fun to
an absolute blessing. I was involved in a, brought, it, brought it to a wonderful family. I had a little bit of a heartbreaking childhood, but good parents, but some troubles in my childhood. But he shared with me his mother, his father, his sisters, all of his brothers, his grandparents. And um, it's been an extended family for me, giving me something that I didn't have as a child. But um, there's so many things about Alan. Yeah, Mom, he is romantic, but you know, he was away at night, and night on me now. <laughs> Very romantic man. I mean, I can go back and remember the year my mom died, and uh, it was tough. You know, it's kind of like the end of the family. My dad had been gone. And this man went out and uh, bought me a red sports car, parked it in the driveway, put a big bow on it, and surprised me. And um, you know, that's that's a big wow because all of our lives, these little kids were saying, "Well, do I get my red sports car this year, honey?" And actually, one year he gave me that dream. And he wanted to make me remember the sports car is that Christmas, not the first year without my mother. And along the way, there's been all kinds of little things. There's been diamond pennants on angels on Christmas tree mornings, and um, a lot of support, love. You know, I had a very low self-esteem, and you know, Alan always kind of pushed me just enough. You know, oh, go get your GED. You know, um, oh, let's go beauty school. You don't have to work if you don't want to. And he pushed me into real estate. Oh, you're just perfect for it. And you know, I mean, I've grown as a human being because of this. I was insecure and not, uh, you know, not full of self-confidence. And he's pushed and prodded me just enough to give me that. And um, he's been a wonderful husband, an amazing husband, an excellent father. But his biggest shining point is the grandfather that he is to these grandchildren. I mean, we've been blessed with, uh, I think it's seven. We have two girls and five boys. And uh, the sun rises and sets with these children with him. Now, I'm really going for the kill with the baby now, because I want the last one to <laughs> run in the house and want Grandma, Grandma, not Grandpa. I have a feeling though I'm in major competition right now, though, because she kind of likes us both about the same. <laughs> but um, all in all, I, I'm, I'm hoping that this truly was a surprise that you didn't know. And you, I think by your reaction, the tears at the front door, the most you probably missed. I think that I did pull it off. And all of you that came, and brought things and told your stories. Just thank you so much. And um, you know, he's the love of my life. And you know, I want to grow old with this man. Not, I don't think he's 50 old yet. I'm talking 90. Now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, honey, I love you more than And then, Alan, you want to say a few things we're going to have uh, some presents real quick and then a fast cake. Thank you so much for coming out. I, I, I was actually 100% honest to goodness. That's why I support the work. So I was very deeply moved. Everyone being able to take the time out of your schedule with the families on, on a Sunday when it's a beautiful day, you could have been elsewhere. So it means a lot to me for everyone to be here. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's there's say a lot more birthday. people who have a lot more things on me. I just appreciate you swimming under the carpet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah, we forgot to talk about the stripper at Thanksgiving. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My 50th birthday was my shirt right at the end. Oh, my 50th. You're 40th. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, oh, yeah. we have to say anything before the candles are broken. Whoever is, in case anybody leaves before we're finished and so forth. Uh, yeah, let's all say happy birthday to Alan. And uh, I will start it off, though I'm completely totally
Use the candles now. Thank you. Yeah, Corey, I think Corey Stevens has been around since he was 14. He's uh, been around 15 years almost with our grandchildren. Half my life. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Olivia? Thank you, honey. A handmade car. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Save these cards. <laughs> no more for me. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you. No more for me. Couldn't you just done the five and the no. six? No. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. We're going to make you huh? Hey, you know, I heard him. Hey, yeah, I threatened him once. I told him I was going to call the cops, and he chased me around the kitchen. I said, Are you expect me? I called the police, Dad. And he didn't. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I was going to say before we set the church on fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, man! Look what Bailey made me! Oh, wow. 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 wow! Thank you, sweet. You are oh, boy, you guys are talented artists. Hey, Alan, is that your cake or Rome burning? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Round of golf. Hopefully, yes. Golf and a cart. Make sure you want to for that. I hope. You want eight? Thank you. 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 Thank I made the box for you. This one. Yeah, don't look at that guy. Sorry, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Nicholas is going to read his part in the play. I introduce to you, Nicholas. Hello, I'm Nicholas. In a minute, our play is going to sew. So, everyone sit tight and have your rest. I'm going to go get Nicholas. <laughs> nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Now the second part. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared, with the angel praising God and saying, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. I'll see you later. And here is my boss. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, can I oh, do I commercials? Sure. Can I do commercials? Uh, yeah, after Nick, now, a second. This is my brother, 
Let me get my picture. Hey, can someone copy this? Yes, sir. Thanks. Now, this is my brother. He has two ketchup on two cheeks. But this is my really good brother. Handsome, eh? <laughs> God, Andy, don't say that. You embarrass me every time. Well, no one's toy. In a minute, we're going to be doing some art projects. And I want to show you one of my cool things. Yeah, what it is. Are you going to do a commercial course? Yep. Okay, Nick. Nick. Nick Workshop. Say, hey, now. Uh -huh. now hey, Here it Nick, is. Nick, Nick. Now a word from our sponsor. Now, let's work for my sponsor. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Cole. Hey, can you copy this? Okay. Um, a commercial. What's a cool commercial? How about okay, your shirt? Thanks. Now, this is my Ooh. concept. No, Nick, I think See? I'm doing a commercial. God, boss, just move. I'm trying to do a commercial. Oh, now, this is a commercial. This is, I know. Just give me something. Now, this is my concept. We are doing tree dances. And then I had to do some tree homework. Like it, eh? Almost done with it. This one's wrong, but two, but there's a couple more, then I'm done. Yeah. Thanks. And ladies and gentlemen, now I present my own brother. So is so. Just stay right there. No, they can't. Hey, God, brother, it's your turn. Nick. All right. Nick, Probably. you have to, you really quick, okay? You almost Nick, have to do some stuff, and then there will be a commercial, okay? Let's do some stuff, and then there will be a commercial. Give okay? me a second. Got blood. Let me see it. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Enough. Hang on. Oh, Daddy. Right, now, what? this is my brother's toy. It's not a toy, Nick. It is shield. And it's long here. But it's cool. Nick, give me a second. Give me that. Now, what we're going to be doing today is an art project. Now, I'll be right back. Say, I'm going to go get some art projects. Cut. Okay.